everyone. Um, I did a video last week, but I forgot to upload it, so maybe I'll upload it <laughs> before I upload this one. But I'm on my way to school. It's 5.09 here, Monday night. Um, and I wanted to give you an update on my juicing to be raw. And so, um, in the last video that I did not put up yet, I don't know if I'll put it up before this video, but um, the last video I talked about how it was opposite um, the, on people who mainly juice versus people who eat raw. Um, and people who juice... I've seen recipes for, or like day menus where they, like if you go on the reboot with joe.com, you'll see the breakfast is um, pretty much all fruits and then for lunch and dinner you have um, greens with some fruits in it. Um, and then the total calorie intake for the juicing is like 1250 or something like that. Um, around the 1200 area and so um, it was good for me to do the juice fast for the five days that I did it for because it helped me um, reboot my, ta my taste buds so that uh, the juices that I drink that are mainly green taste good to me um, whereas somebody who has never drank it before probably wouldn't taste as good. So that helped in that matter, and it also helped me to lose weight. And um, and it also helped me to figure out how I was going to eat all the greens that I needed to eat in a day. Um, with because I don't know like. I haven't tried any uh, dressings yet. I don't have a food processor yet. I ordered one, so it's coming. So I, um, and my, so my blender is only 400 watts and I never needed a blender for anything before besides making alcoholic beverages. <laughs> so it worked for me then and um, now, trying to blend frozen bananas in it, I have to kind of put it in warm water first um, and let it soften up before I can put it into the blender. Otherwise, it just free, the blender just doesn't want to blend, basically. But um, it works good if I kind of let it sit in the warm water for like five minutes um, and then I put it in there. But, uh, the way that it's opposite is on a 80-10-10 diet, 80% 80 carbohydrates, 10% fat, and 10% protein means that 80% of what are the calories that I eat, for example, if I eat 2,000 calories, 16 of those, 1,600 of those calories are going to be carbohydrates, meaning fruit, and the rest, um, 200 calories will be fat and 200 calories will be protein. So um, for breakfast and lunch, I eat fruit. And then for dinner, that's when I can have my salad and then I can have the 200 calories of nuts because that's basically all fat and, and there's some protein in there and then the greens has proteins in it. Basically, every single fruits, fruit, vegetable, and nut you eat has protein in it. So it's accumulating throughout the whole day that you're eating your fruits and vegetables. And you only need 10%. Um, if you read Dr. Graham's book, The 80-10-10 Diet, it explains to you why you don't need so much protein as what everybody has been telling us since we were young. The meat commercials, the protein shakes, the dairy products, the eggs, you don't need all that protein because once your body 
takes up the protein that it need that it spent to the for the day it takes that protein that it spent and then the rest goes to um, it stores it and then if you need more carbohydrates the protein it, your body changes the protein into carbohydrates and it takes a lot of energy for your body to do that so and then some other things happen to it I um, can't remember exactly I think it turns into sugar or not, not the good kind of sugar I'm not don't quote me on that but that's the biggest part that I remembered that your body turns your protein into carbohydrates but it takes a lot of energy for your body to do that so um, today was my first day being 100% raw so for breakfast I had five bananas and two cups of blueberries and I made it into a shake. It's all frozen. I froze bananas myself um, and I bought frozen blueberries, which are a lot cheaper <laughs> than buying the um, the, blue, the blueberries that you buy, in, you know, your regular that are not frozen. I think it was like nine, $8.99 or something like that for a little, little packet of blueberries that probably was, I want to say a third to a fourth of a cup and that's not a lot but you get a lot of blueberries when you buy them frozen for the amount that you pay for it anyway and so um, five bananas and two cups of blueberries and that's um, probably give or take a few calories from 700 calories for breakfast and now for dinner I mean, for lunch, I had two bananas, two apples, two mangoes, and a pomegranate, and I believe that was it. And um, I ate that. I didn't um, make a shake out of that. Um, I've never had a pomegranate before, and I didn't know that there were seeds in there. I thought they were just like juicy little grapes or something. But yeah, they were kind of um, tough to eat because I ended up like spitting out the seeds. So um, note to sell for next time. And um, anyway, so yeah, that's about 700 calories right there. Um, it was extremely hard to eat all of that fruit. I am full beyond full right now. <laughs> I actually, TMI right here, TMI, warning TMI, had to go to the bathroom before I could finish the last half of my fruit. Um, I kind of made like a fruit salad of it and like ate it out of a big bowl. And um, yeah, it was a lot to eat. And um, so for dinner, when I get home from school, I should have made it earlier, but I had to take a quiz and do some homework. Well, I only had time to take the quiz, which I totally forgot about. Anyway, tangent. Um, I'm going to go home and then drink or make my green, green juice, which I'm sure it'll either have kale or chard in it with a cucumber, a lemon, two apples um, and of course celery. I can't go without celery because I love salt and celery is like if you need salt, if you feel like you're craving salt, celery is the is the, is the um, vegetable that you need to eat. If you're craving salt, period, you go to vegetables. If you're craving sweets, then you go to your fruits. So that's what I've learned and that's what I'm sticking to. So um, I am craving salt, so I know that I need to make my green, green juice tonight, and um, I know I'm not supposed to eat a couple hours before I go to bed, but I think it's better for me to take my, my green juice, drink my green juice, and then not, whether, you know, then to not drink it at all, um, and just be starving my body of the nutrients saltiness that it needs <laughs> um, 
but yeah, so I think um, next time I probably won't have a big bowl of fruit to eat. I think I'll just make a shake next time because it's so extremely hard. Probably because I'm still new at this. I mean, hey, it's day one for me. And usually for lunch um, or for one meal that I replace, I replace it with some regular food. And, um, uh, yeah. But I think I'll be doing the shakes. Five bananas and a cup or two of some other fruit. And I bought a whole... I bought a... A couple of bags, um, it was, has mangoes and pineapples and some other fruit in it, which I love to mix with my bananas. I think mangoes and, and bananas taste awesome together, and so do pineapple and bananas, so you can't really go wrong with that. Um, yeah. And, um, well... Last night I had pizza, <laughs> big surprise because I'm addicted to pizza. So um, that was the last of that. I had Pizza Hut, it was my favorite pizza, stuffed crust, pepperoni pizza. Um, that was my favorite. So yesterday I had that, but I ha did have, you know, regular um, banana and, what did I have? Banana and strawberries shake. And, if you don't like sour, you probably want to put less strawberries. I think I put a cup of strawberries in it. It was still kind of a little bit too sour. So I think uh, next time I would probably um, add like another banana or half a banana and then the cup of strawberries or something. Or half a cup of strawberries, I'm not sure. Whichever one. I'm trying to stay in the 700 so then by the time I get to lunch I'll have 1400 calories. And then my drink is about 300 calories, my juice drink at the end of the day. Uh, it's about 300 and something calories. So I'm in, um, I'm within the 17 to 2,000 range calories that I need to intake um, on this diet for my body frame. So yeah, and I did add um, on the last video, it's Dale Bennett is the guy that um, I added a link on the the last video not the one that I didn't add a week ago but the one before that so you'll see Dale Bennett um, and then it's a nutritional site and you go down scroll down and click on um, how do you find out what your body frame is and then you um, figure it out that way it's basically some inches if you put your hands to, I can't do it right now but maybe I'll show you later um, how to do that but yeah and I think in future videos that I'm going to like show you some of the recipes that I use because um, especially when I get a dehydrator then I can start making like chips and stuff and and when I buy some nuts, I can show you how to make a nut milk um, with or without a juicer. You just need a blender. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I bought a new food processor, which is a Black & Decker. Um, it's a two-in-one food processor. It's 600 watts. So it's 200 more watts than what my blender is currently. So I think it'll do the trick until I can afford a better blender. Which I'm, I want a Vitamix, but it's so expensive. Um, at Costco, I think it's like $600, $599, or, or is it $500, $499, something like that. It's a great deal, but I don't have $500 to be like, hey, I'm going to go get a blender today, you know spend $500 on it. <laughs> um, I, I, I would have to save up for it. But my second option is a, a Dyna Blend, which is by True Try Best Blenders. And um, if you go to discountjuicers.com, 
Um, you get a discount, I think it's like $20 off, so you're paying $169 for it on a 1.1 horsepower blender. And so that will do pretty much everything you need it to do until um, I guess you want to get a Vitamix. Um, but for a fraction of the cost of Vitamix. So 